The seaweeds in the ocean fulfill similar roles to the more familiar plants that we know growing on land. As with their terrestrial cousins, they come in many different shapes and sizes and provide the basis for the marine food web. Although most people are not very familiar with them, they play key roles in many of our day-to-day -day activities. Did you know that you start your day with seaweeds in your orange juice? A microscopic mesh of carrageenans extracted from red seaweeds helps keep the pulp in suspension. And you go to bed with seaweeds. Your toothpaste would be a liquid without the alginates extracted from brown seaweeds like kelps. Coral reefs would not have been formed without the help of seaweeds, and it would be more appropriate to call them coralgal reefs. A lot of these wonderful tropical white sandy beaches are in fact the fine debris of dead calcified green seaweeds. So you see, they are a part of our everyday lives, even when we are on vacation. Unfortunately, to a lot of people, seaweeds are seen as rather unpleasant organisms. They are very slimy and slippery, and can make swimming or walking along the shore an unpleasant experience to remember. To put it succinctly, seaweeds do not have the popular appeal. Only a few have common names, they are not easy to identify, they do not produce flowers, they don't sing like birds, and they're not as cute as furry mammals. There are approximately 10,500 known species of seaweed, and around 500 of these have been used for human food and medicinal purposes for centuries. There are, however, only approximately 220 species of seaweeds cultivated worldwide, and six genera provide 95% of the biomass. You'll be surprised to learn that the largest group of organisms being cultured at sea is seaweeds the aquaculture of which represents 46% of the total world mariculture. The reason we don't know much about this group of organisms in the Western world is that 99.8% of the 15.8 million tons of cultivated seaweed come from China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Korea, and Japan. This means that in other parts of the world, aquaculture is not necessarily equal to fish aquaculture. Moreover, 94% of the world's seaweed supply comes from cultivation. Some regions are richer in seaweed diversity than others. For example, in Brittany on the west coast of France, there are around 900 species of seaweeds because it is a well-known transition zone between the cold and warm temperate regions. Despite being at a lower latitude, the Bay of Fundy on the east coast of Canada is part of the cold temperate region. This in combination with the highest tides in the world results in a lower seaweed diversity of around 100 species. The seaweed industry is in full transition. Its best known sector in the Western world is that of phycocoloids. The gelling, thickening, emulsifying, binding, stabilizing, clarifying and protecting agents extracted from red and brown seaweeds known as carrageenans agars and alginates. The use of seaweeds as a sea vegetable for direct human consumption is becoming much more significant. Although well known in Asian cuisine as the seaweed wrapper in myriad forms of sushi and floating small pieces in various soups, seaweeds are now beginning to make inroads into Western cuisine as components in salads, replacements for some traditional vegetables or garnishes on various dishes. And it doesn't end there. Seaweeds are regularly found in the cosmetics and skincare industry because of their ability to create soft and healthy skin. You can bring them home in a variety of lotions and creams, or you can enjoy a seaweed wrap in a spa. But seaweeds are not only for humans. They are also presently being used as a dietary ingredient in salmon and sea urchin feeding trials. This is part of a diversification strategy to reduce the fish meal and fish oil in feed formulations. Seaweeds can also be a source of protein. They do not trigger competition with staple foods from terrestrial plants, which could result in their price increases. This also reduces the need for deforestation for more farmland, irrigation and fertilizers, since the seaweeds already grow in seawater. There are also new methods of cultivating them, such as integrated multi-trophic aquaculture, 
in which seaweeds are grown in proximity to fish and invertebrates for a more responsible ecosystem approach to aquaculture. By recapturing dissolved inorganic nutrients, seaweeds provide services to the ecosystem while new crops are being produced. We need to recognize the roles, applications and values seaweeds have in marine ecosystems, the economy and our society and understand how relevant they can be in many of our everyday activities and in solving global scale issues. Then we will finally have a better appreciation of this important group of organisms.